Hi, I'm Kristen Matthews and welcome back to the Pilates Fix. Today for day 19 of the Holiday Fix Challenge, we'll be doing an inner thigh extreme workout. I picked a few exercises that are going to focus on your inner thighs and your inner thighs are really important to your core, so this is going to be good for you. So grab your mat and let's begin. So let's begin by getting down onto our backs. Getting centered onto your mat and bringing your knees into your chest. The arms will go out to a T position. The knees are going to go to a 90 degree angle, so your knees right up over your hips. And if this becomes a little challenging or if it doesn't work, we're going to do a TikTok back and forth. You can always keep your feet down and do the exact same thing. What I want you to focus on are your inner thighs pressing very firmly together. So our anchor your arms, anchor your whole torso, and then as you go side to side, one of your butt cheeks will lift, but shoulders stay down. So legs press together. Let's first go over to the right. As you go to the right, you can look over the left and keep those inner thighs really strong, squeezing together. And then you use those obliques to bring your legs back up. Go to the left, looking over to the right. Again, working those inner thighs together the whole time. That's going to be your focus today. Of course, other parts of your body are working, but focus on those inner thighs. So reaching over to the right, breathing, and back to the center. I like to inhale as I go. Inner thighs press strong, arms down, and then exhale to come back up. Again, a few more each side. Inhale, reach and exhale inhale you can keep your legs bent or if you want to make it a little more challenging you straighten your legs up do a little turn out still press your legs together same thing you reach and as you reach inner thighs reach keep your heels glued now i can't go as far when i have my legs straight but i'll keep it like this just a little more of a challenge using those obliques. One more time, each side. Press those heels together to help get into those inner thighs if your legs are straight. And come back up. Last one over to the left. And come back up to the center. Then bring your knees into your chest. Give them a little hug. The hands can go behind your head for the next one. We're going to do frog. Or if you want to keep your head down, we're going to lift the head and shoulders. But if you want to keep the head down, Make a diamond shape with your hands like this, and you place them under your tailbone. You frame your low back. Okay? So getting yourself in the position, I'm going to go hands behind my head, elbows tilted up a little, heels together, toes apart, and curl your head and shoulders up. So from here, with your heels pressing strong, you reach your legs out long. Squeeze those heels, bend your knees back in. Ten of these. Inhale out, squeeze those heels, exhale in. So just keep working those heels together. At the top, you want to really work those inner thighs towards one another. They may or may not touch depending on how your body is, your anatomy. Reach out and bend in for your skeleton, not necessarily your anatomy. Six more, inhale out, exhale in, and five, and in, and four, and remember, you're just reaching along, keeping the head down if you need to, hands underneath your low back if you need that. Last one out, and in, and lower your head down. Just rock your head back and forth. The hands will go down by your side, or if you want lower back support, hands underneath your tailbone like I showed you a few minutes ago. The legs will reach up to the ceiling, right up over your hips with a little turnout. You're going to open the legs out to the side as wide as you can go. Then you'll come up, cross your right leg over the left, and then open left over right. So you're focusing on those inner thighs, out, inner thighs, out, up, and left, and right. Just opening and closing. So you got a little stretch, work the inner thigh strength. Inner thigh strength. Four more. That's four, just four together. Three, two, and one. One, now open the legs, keep them there. Pelvis is heavy, abs are in. Now bend the knees, tap your toes, and stretch your legs long. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. You have seven more. So you get that stretch, and you work those inner thighs. Five, and open. Four, open. Three, 
two. Last one and open. Legs come together and hug your knees into your chest. Place your feet down on the mat for bridge. So ideally for this variation, the legs should be together because we're working those inner thighs. If it just does not work for you to do that, keep your legs apart. You'll still feel your inner thighs working a little bit. You'll probably feel a little bit more in your bottom and the hamstring. So legs together, heels close to your bottom. You just don't want them completely touching. So when you lift, your knees don't shoot forward of your ankles. You press strong into your arms. Legs press together. Tailbone's gonna lift. You lift your hips. You've got that long line from your knees to your chest, like a little skier skiing down the slope. You don't want him going through any moguls. You're lifting up. Tailbone's long. Legs press strong together. Let's hold this here for five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and then you roll your spine down, still keeping those legs together. This is harder than you would think, so if you find they're coming apart, they come apart. You just try to work them together. Do that again. Tailbone's gonna lift. Find that nice long line. Imagine you're squeezing a $100 bill between your inner thighs. A huge gust of wind comes, which actually it's super windy here in LA today, and you don't wanna lose that money. So you're squeezing, 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 hips up. Tailbone's long, hold here. Five more seconds, four, three, two, one, and round it down. So you're certainly gonna feel the butt and the hamstrings working too. So you've got that whole kind of lower section working. One more time with a little added variation. Always keep your feet down if you don't wanna do the, the next part. That's still gonna be work. So press into your arms, tailbone's gonna lift, your hips lift, hold that there. So press strong into your feet and act like they're in super glue, but you're trying to pull them back towards your heels. So you engage your back even more, the back of your um, leg. Extend that right leg out long and just hold two, or hold for five, four, inner thighs working, and bend that knee. And press that foot down, pull the heel back. Left leg goes hold, two, work those inner thighs, hips stay as square as possible. And good, again, right leg for five, four, hips up, three, two, one, lower that right foot, push those hips up one more time with the left, hold, two, three, four, five, lower that foot down and round your spine all the way down. Great, and hug your knees into your chest and then rock up for a seated position just for a little stretch for your inner thighs. So you wanna bring the soles of your feet together as best as you can. Lift up really tall, open those knees out to the side, and just fold forward. You can use your elbows to push out into those legs. Just wanna get a little stretch now for those inner thighs. That was a big, big focus workout there. Good, hold there, take one more breath in, and exhale all the way out. And then round your spine all the way up. And you're all done. Pretty quick workout, under 10 minutes,